new videos every day. Life, wisdom, psyche truth, massage. It's been a long time since I've showed you the cupping for massage therapy, so I thought that it would be fun to do while we have Jen on the table. So I'm going to apply the oil to the upper thigh, particularly on the outside, and I'll do a little bit of the lower leg work as well, on this side anyway. What happens a lot with runners is their iliotibial tract, this tract right running along here, will get quite ripply. It'll feel like washboard. So I'll show you a trick to pull some of that lactic acid out of it. And here, just working the calf. After working the foot, you move up into the calf. And again, you want to feel for any tension as you run those thumbs up. What I do is I, I try to get an assessment of what's going on with the muscle and then I know how much I need to work from there. And it's mainly about just getting circulation going and those muscles to get nice and relaxed. You'll oftentimes find a, a tensor area kind of in the middle of this gastric muscle. So you can pay attention to that. If ever you tighten and you squeeze on somebody's calf and it's in excruciating pain, you may not want to work on it. They may have some kind of a thrombosis or something going on in the low leg. It's usually quite painful they'll scream or come off the table, so it's a nice idea to maybe test that a little bit and see if there's any sensation just before you work. And then here, where we have all of the vessels and lymph nodes, you want to work very gently over this area in the back of the knee. And then coming up. Now on the inner thigh, you have that chain of lymph nodes going, so we're not going to work too much into that. I do a little bit of kneading and I do other work into the inner thigh. So now I'm working my way over here to this track, and it, it, this is actually feeling pretty good. There's not, there's not any lactic acid in it. It's very pliable. But I'll show you how to do that. You take the cup and just apply it onto the body, and then we suction it. You don't want to suction too much so that it can still run. And you want to get up to the attachment point, which I may not quite be able to make. There, and you just want to roll up and down along the track. And it's very, very relaxing. But if you have it pinched too tightly, it's kind of painful. So you want to get the right pinch there. And then after you do that, if you run your fingers up and along it, you'll feel a real difference in the consistency, the way that the muscle feels. Even in this muscle that was, this track that was in good shape, feels, the quality feels a little more elastic and like it has a little more stretch and pliability to it. And of course you can work into the other hamstring muscles as well, but I primarily wanted to show you again the uh, cupping technique. Now if somebody has knee problems, you can also uh, cup it and hold it in an area down where the attachments are. But if there's a knee issue, I, I always do open up this tract because oftentimes it's, it's pretty tight. It just seems to be the nature of things. Now we'll do the same thing. Now there's a little bit of a bruise um, on this calf here, so I'm not going to really go into that. I'll work on the outside. Anytime there's bruising, you want to be very careful running over it. There are techniques you can use over bruising to move the fluid away from the bruise. Very, very effective, but that's a lymphatic technique. And if I ever 
find somebody that has a huge bruise, you can almost see it change before your very eyes, so it's kind of fun to, to do. Now here's where there's a little bit of, of bruising, so I'm just going to work on the outside of the leg because it's a very fresh little accident that happened. Nothing real major, but enough to pay attention to. So I'm just going to stay on the away from it. And then we can also get a little lymphatic around the knee. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then working up here. Check it, and again, this is a good, nice muscle. She spends a lot of time taking care of herself, flexibility-wise, and so it's much easier to work on people that are a little more fit, although some work that people do tends to them up in other areas. But at least there's a little more mobility in people who do work out and stay somewhat active and move. So now we'll take the the cup and place it on there. Drawing that up so it can actually stay there. And then, oh. doesn't seem to want to fill. There we go. Now hopefully that's not too tight. The trick is getting it just right. There we go. And this probably could have a little bit more pull in it. But it is pulling. But again, she doesn't have any real tight tension in there. Sometimes when you're running this up and down and someone has tension, it's, you can, it's like going on a gravel road. There's a lot of bumpiness that happens. And even though um, there wasn't anything there really to, to move out, just the fact that the muscle was pulled upward and outward seems to give some spacing in it and it just seems to change the quality of the muscle just enough to have it feel just a little bit better. So if you do just massage therapy and you do have a set of of cups, you might, when you feel the ripply, you might want to consider um, adding that to your toolbox. And then back up, and there we go. Just giving a little traction. Okay, thank you.